There may come a time when you need to add a new set of dashboards. Perhaps you're adding a new group of accounts related to a new program or a new department or initiative. Your first step would be contacting University Communications to ask that a new account group be added to the system to contain these groups. Once that is done, you'll be able to add new templated dashboards. University Communications may create these template dashboards for you or may provide access to the template for you to create them yourself. To create a templated dashboard, you'll first open a new tab, navigate to Engagement Dashboards. From the drop down in the top left, you'll choose the templated dashboards. We'll start with Inbound. Now you need to clone this template. Do not make any changes to the templated dashboard. Clone and make your own copy first. To do that, choose Dashboard Actions, Clone Dashboard. Rename your dashboard. We recommend keeping the inbound name so you know what dashboard this is. Remove the templated tag and hit Clone. You'll notice now this dashboard is showing that this is my new copy and any changes I made will only affect this dashboard. First, delete any columns you don't need. In this case, we only have one seat, so I don't need an assignment workflow, so I'll delete that. And for the sake of this demonstration, let's assume I only have Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, so I'm gonna delete these other columns. From here, you'll need to update where these columns are drawing their data from. For each column, click the More Options menu, Edit, choose your unit's inbox from this list, and the newly created account group goes here. The rest of the settings should remain the same. Hit Update Column. Repeat this for every column that you need. Delete the columns you don't. Also be sure to update your Facebook external mention pages to point to the correct page. Click this X to get rid of the institutional and add your own. And also update your Twitter feed column in the same manner, choosing your account from the dropdown and hitting update column. Finally, you'll need to share this dashboard if there's any other users that should have access. Delete the workspace, add your unit's user groups in this box, and hit share. You will repeat the same process with the second and third template dashboards. In the top left, choose template 2, clone, Rename, remove the template tag, then update your columns. On the second dashboard, you'll change the queue to your unit's corresponding column, so be sure to pay attention to the names here, So since you'll have a different queue for each one. Here is no response required. Close responded to, and so on. For each of these, if you need to, you can also add the account group to filter down to a particular program level. On the third dashboard, same process. Hit clone, rename, remove template tag, make any adjustments necessary. Always be sure to confirm that notifications are on for this first failed to post column. That way if something doesn't go live, you'll get a notification. Delete approval needed if you only have one seat or are not using an approval workflow. For the drafts scheduled and sent, Choose your account group here, remove demo and add your unit's account group. And you'll do the same with the platform specific columns. 
scroll down, update account group here, leave the channel and message properties the same, hit update. For both the second and third dashboard, be sure to confirm your share settings, adding your user group here, and hit share.